So, what I want us to notice is that number underneath y tells us how far up and down to go, no matter which case. Uh, sorry, number underneath y, up and down, even though the letters change. The only reason the letters change is so that we can still do... Um, sorry, I don't know why the letters change, just because it'd be a lot easier if the b and the a stayed the same. But notice how a over b is the y value over the x value. So I don't try to memorize this, this equation. I just say, okay, it's the rise over the run. Rise over run. And that's how I remember. I don't remember a and b. don't remember b and a. Um, so if the x squared is positive, the line containing the center and the foci are horizontal, so it opens left to right, like this. The y squared is positive, if it's y squared minus x squared, it's going to open up and down. So there you have it. Let's work on some more problems. y squared equals 3x squared plus 12. So let's get this first into some form of standard form. y squared minus 3x squared. If you move the 3x squared to the other side, you said equal to 12. And then let's divide by 12. So y squared divided by 12 minus x squared over 4. 3 divided by 12 is 1 fourth. And so we have it said equal to 1. Um, I should let's go over here. So this one's going to open up and down because the y squared is first. And square root of 12 is going to be 3 point something. 1, 2, 3. And so our vertex is going to be 0 square root of 12. Up and down which would be 4 times 3, which would be 2 root 3. Now, you can get the approximate version of this, and there's not a problem with that. I just want to practice with the exact version. And so we have 2 square root 3, 0, negative 2 root 3. So those are our y-intercepts. x-intercepts. Well, left and right we go 2, but these are not our extra intercepts. They don't exist because we have a hyperbola, and it's never going to touch that spot. But we can use the 2 to draw that rectangle that we were talking about. And I'm going to... And so now it's going to open top to bottom, because the y squared is first, and we're utilizing that asymptote to our advantage. Um, our foci are going to be c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Just add the two squared values. 12 plus 4 is 16. So c is 4. And so if we go out to 4, and 4, 0, negative 4 is our focus, is our vertex or our y-intercept, and this is 0, comma 4, our other focus. Our asymptotes have a slope of, if we, we went up 1, 2, 3, well, we went up 2 root 3, and down left and right 2, sorry, rise 2 root 3 over 2 and so you can cross out the 2's and so our asymptote plus or minus square root of 3 is our slope times x and there we have all of the important pieces of this graph All right, find the equation on hyperbola having foci 0, 3 and 0, 
negative 3. And so it's going to open up and down, so we're going to have a y squared minus x squared equation. And there's no h and k because we're centered at the origin. So those are the foci. Difference of the focal radii is 2. So that means 2a equals 2. And so that means the vertex is up and down 1. That total distance is 1. So up and down is 1, so a squared is 1. And so I'm putting that right there. Um, and so now all we need to figure out is what goes underneath the x squared. And that's going to be c squared equals a squared plus b squared. c squared, c is 3, because that's the distance to the foci. So c squared is 9. So 9 equals 1 plus what? So b squared must equal 8. So I'm just going to put 8 here. It didn't ask us to graph it, we just had to find the equation. So we are done and done. All right, so let's find an equation of the hyperbola with asymptotes, plus or minus root 5 over 2, 0, 3, and 0, negative 3. So, same foci. And so we still know it opens up and down. So I'm going to write our y squared minus x squared. And it's root 5 over 2. Now, so we don't know what a or what b is. And so here's what we're going to have to do. This is going to be the rise. And this is going to be the run. And in order to do this, we know that it's going to look something like this. But c squared is going to be related to a squared plus b squared. And we know that c squared is, c is 3, so c squared is 9. And a squared plus b squared, some form of these two. So, um, root 5 squared plus 2 squared. How much we rose? 5 plus how much we ran? 2. And we squared both of those. So 5 plus 4 equals 9, and so this is our a squared and our b squared. Remember, we rose root 5, so the 5 is our a squared. And our b is 2, because that's how far left and right we went. So b squared is 4. And there we have the equation of our hyperbola. Technically, this could have been any factor of these two, because it could have been reduced. So this one is a little bit easier doing it this way. Two more problems. So find the equation of hyperbola having foci. And so this one's going to be a little trickier because it's off the center. But everything's going to be the same relative to the center. So negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 2, 1, 2. Negative 3, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So find the center. Center, I know, is going to have an x-coordinate of negative 3. And then what's in the middle of negative 2 and 8? Average them. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so negative 3, 3. is our center. And so, because it's opening up and down, it's going to be a y squared minus x squared. And so I'm going to start filling in my equation with y minus the k squared over something and x plus, that's minus a negative 3 squared. 
All right. Difference of focal radii is 8. So that means 8 equals 2a. So a has to be 4. And so our major axis, we go out 1, 2, 3, 4 is our vertex, and 4 is our vertex. So the number underneath y has got to be 16. a squared has to be 16. Now we just need to determine the number underneath x squared. c, the distance to the focus, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To get from 3 to 8 or 3 to negative 2 is 5. c squared is 25. And so c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So 25 equals 16 plus what? 16 we got from a squared. And so b squared, if you subtract 16, is 9. And so that is what goes right there. All right. Next problem, I'm going to start a new video because we're going to complete the square.